Hello, and thank you for joining me today on Live With a Purpose. Paul specifically uh, had run into many problems with some of the churches and with believers in particular in different places. Uh, in Corinthians, uh, he also gives this message to Colossians. These are things that uh, bring disunity in the church, that bring griping and grumbling and division when we all go our separate ways. Sometimes we have to be the big person, but sometimes we get sick and tired of being the big person and the mature one, and uh, we're sick of it. And we let out things maybe that we should not uh, let out, things that we say, things that we do. Paul uh, is warning us to be mindful that we're supposed to be humble and meek. Now, that doesn't mean that we need to be pushovers either. God's work needs to go forward. But there's a way of seeing things. There's a way of trying to see things the way God sees it. Uh, today, in the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verses 12 to 14, it says, Put on then, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another, and if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other. As the Lord has forgiven you, so you must also forgive. And above all these things, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Above all the griping, above all the nonsense, on all the, above all the garbage and the stuff sometimes that we have to take and the things we're sick of, Paul says, have this mindset. Put on love. And the love, you know, uh, it's not the kind of love that we have because our love sometimes wanes. We love somebody today and tomorrow we don't love them so much. Uh, we try to tolerate them. But that's not the kind of love that uh, Paul is talking about. He's talking about God's love. That is, God sees each and every one of us as precious. God has a plan for family. And he knows that uh, we're going to irritate one another. He knows that we're not perfect. So he's wanting us to focus on his plan and that he can change things around and that sometimes he's working not to give up, keep going. Don't let someone else's flaws, someone else's problems, someone else's irritation take you off track. We have to focus. We can easily speak out and just go all out and let it out. That's easy. But it's harder to then think and say, Lord, please help me. I don't want to get distracted. I'm on the right road here. I know this is going to take me way off. Help me to honor you, Lord. Sometimes we have to be quiet for a while. Sometimes we have to put things off for a little bit and pray about it first so that we're set up in our own minds and our own hearts so that we know where we are and where we stand in the Lord. It's harder to do when we think, when we think that we have to do it on our own. It's easier to do. The more we practice it in the Lord, the more we try to uh, let the Lord lead, let the Holy Spirit work in us, not thinking about how I'm being maligned, about how I'm being abused, uh, I'll talked about the saying, Lord, they did it to you, Lord Jesus. They did it to you. And the work must continue. I'm not going to let that take over my mind and my life. There's work to be done. I have to deal with it. But I'll deal with it, Lord, with your care and your grace. Think about this today on Live With a Purpose. <laughs>